Welcome back to Miniature Mashup, guys. I'd like to start today's episode by thanking everyone who's donated to my GoFundMe so far. Thank you. You keep the channel going. And for those of you who made video requests, I promise your videos are coming. So the necromancer is going to hit you with his prismatic spray. Isn't he going to hit his own guys, too? No, he's on the ground level with you, but his undead servants are actually on top of the outpost. Okay, can I get on top of the outpost, then? Yeah, you can climb up there. You have to make three climb checks, though. Three? I thought I only had to make two. No, there's actually extra fortification in the front that you'd have to climb over also. That isn't in the back, so it's three. Oh, this is a hot mess. Have you run into this problem playing Dungeons & Dragons? You're trying to have a three-dimensional fight involving different floors of a building? And you think to yourself, well, maybe I should just break down and buy some kind of plastic model fort. You know, forts are common enough. In Dungeons and Dragons, it's something I'd get more than one use out of. Then you look online and you realize there's nothing out there for less than 25 bucks. Well, today on Miniature Mashup, we're going to make a fort out of very affordable materials. Go to any grocery store and get yourself one of these plastic deli buckets. It's usually got macaroni salad, potato salad, or coleslaw in it. And you're going to want the largest size they've got. You're going to need popsicle sticks, hot glue, cardboard. That'll get you the basic fort structure. I dress mine up with some pieces of a plastic dollhouse I found as well. If you can't find something like this, you can always check the thrift store. I often see plastic dollhouses there. Other toys might work. So yeah, here's my uh, dollhouse. I actually found this uh, near a dumpster. I'm going to wash it before I do anything with it, don't worry. Doesn't look like much now, but there's lots of little bits here, lots of little generic bits. We've got stone floor, and windows, and this roof here. And once it's taken apart, there's so much possibility, and the best part was it was free. Even if you can't get one of these free, I see things like this all the time at the thrift store. Here is the little bucket uh, of coleslaw I got from Kroger, and I cut out a window for it. Took a window off the dollhouse, uh, as you'll see here. We're gonna just stick it in like that. And we've got ourselves a nice fortified little iron gate on the side of our fortification. This is what's gonna be on the inside of the fortification. Next step, we take our popsicles that we cut the ends off vertically along the side, sticking it in the slots, and we're gonna use uh, E6000. It's a perfect glue for this project. Just all the way around. Um, gotta cut them a little shorter to go over the gate, of course. Now on the top here, this little uh, bulwark is a balcony from the dollhouse, and then behind that is some bits from the uh, um, Tower of Omens Thundercats toy I've got. I did a little review of that. Uh, one of my videos, I talk about that. And we'll be doing more with that. I got that super cheap as well. It's a clearance toy. And you can see I also cut wood in the patterns here to look like cross beams and whatnot. And we're going to cut wood very short and uh, do it on the top. Then a nice base coat of brown, uh, not filling in the cracks too much. We want to leave the black in there to define the different wood panels. Of course, I primed it in black, so I'm just working my way up from that. You know, just lighter and lighter shades. I'm going to put a metallic dry brushing on the gate, on the entrance. Similar to the you know the middle bulwark on top. What's nice is it's got two rows. We've got people who can stand on the very top, and then underneath them, there's actually room for shorter figures, dwarves or goblins, depending on who you've got in it. It's a really nice little outpost in my campaign. Right now, these things are dotted throughout the woods, and if you've got a game like that where you've got you know lots of a type of outpost or something, go ahead and build one. And then you don't have to you know worry about fighting a a 3D battle on a 2D plane. You can just uh, sort of have it and you know sometimes maybe they'll be invading it, sneaking in, sometimes they'll be holding it. Have lots of different scenarios with something like this. So uh, the point of the two fangs besides being decorative also it's, it's something to sort of deter large flying creatures from landing on top. Uh, yeah let's just look at some some finished stills here give you a better idea. Not the most fancy or uh, creative project I've ever done. There's some plastic beadwork. You can also see I made steps out of square beads to get um, characters up to the top level. There, there's an entrance to go back into the, uh, you know, on the, on the roof. When you sketch out the insides, if you're going to map that out or maybe even build it, you'd want a ladder to go up there. Please check us out on Facebook, and if you want to support the show, please consider donating to my GoFundMe campaign. The link's in the description below.